Well, Lisa, the changes mean pay raises for about a third of the clerk and clerk, clerk of courts employees, and that's only one change that's being made. It's aimed at making the government institution more like the business world. Aftab Pureval says because he streamlined operations and cut a few jobs, he's able to pay other employees more. He set the $16 an hour minimum as the pay rate for workers in the clerk's office. He calls it a living wage. It's a pay increase for one out of every three clerk's employees. Not only that, Pureval is putting paid leave into place. Employees with five years of service will get six weeks paid time off if they become new parents. Two weeks off if they need to care for a sick loved one. This will have an incredible impact on the families that work in my office on their economic dignity. Uh, they will no longer have to worry about uh, their economic self-sufficiency. Pureval put another change into place. He's rewriting the clerk's office rules to make sure that LGBTQ employees are considered a protected class protected from discrimination. Lisa. Andrew, thank you. Pureval has cut the clerk's office staff from 220 employees to 212. He says this streamlined operation will pay for the extra $180,000 the new wages and benefits will cost.